the strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. All right, here he is for my money, Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. situations normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success i want to see how this plays out oh nice job to land the straight punch there must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage dc i know you can't necessarily relate well perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there nice kick landed by this gentleman straight right he misses big kick lands the double jab Oh, beautiful counter jab upstairs for him there. He's got the reach advantage, and that certainly helped him in that exchange. What a punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. He finds a home for the left hand there. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Lunges forward with a left there. Can't take any of those, you better check. Real quick leg kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. Beautiful body kick. Good stick. Great action to get to that takedown. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Close guard. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Choi's got the full mount. Both fighters back to their feet now. Choi gets caught with that punch. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nice. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Just out of range with that right hook. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Single collar tie. Blocks the shot. Let's get that takedown and win the round. Oh, he told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. 
Oh, and now an elbow up top by Obama Mercier. Beautiful strike. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, blocks the shot. Hands high, hands high. Well, if you're going to leave your body that wide open, you're going to pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Mercier gets the double leg takedown. Nothing telegraphed about that shot. Well done. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Through the punch, got to the target. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh! Take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. Ready? Ready? Round two underway. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Just missed with the left there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? working at trying to shut the liver down. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Clean left punch followed by the right. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Inside the octagon for the official decision to Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At one minute, 54 seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. Oh, well, there he is.
after a huge knockout win.